Hello everyone, my name is Fox. This video we're going to be talking about the performance regressions that have been noticed on the Asus RG Ally going to BIOS version 319. This has been reported by The Verge and multiple other people that have shown this. There was a Diablo 4 video showing the performance regression as well. Uh, I can confirm that based on my testing, there is indeed a performance regression even worse than my initial testing, which a lot of people noticed that were was bad. Uh, and this is in contrast to what Dave T 2D showed with I can also confirm, and I'll show you just a brief slice of that as well. So we're going to be talking about a few different things here. So I'm going to try to unpack this. This video is going to be pretty quick. I'm only looking at 10 watt and 25 watt for three different games. We're going to be looking at Batman Arkham Knight, Cyberpunk, and Red Dead Redemption 2. So let's go ahead and just jump into that real quick. All right, so what I want to show you here is the differences that are going on. So I'm going to highlight a few different things for you. This particular benchmark that you see right here, this was the initial benchmark that I captured for Batman Arkham Knight. Uh, at 10 watt TDP. And then up top here, you see the 425. This is the April 25th BIOS update that happened for the ROG Ally. And you can see that we got about a 13% performance increase. And Dave T 2D noted uh, a 20% increase. And based on my testing as well, that was also uh, dependent on a few different games. So you were looking at between a 10 to 20% performance increase based on my particular benches that I had captured from my early set. However, what we're looking at here now with the 319 BIOS is that there actually is a performance regression. In this particular uh, 10 watt test, we see that averages are about 5% higher, but if we take a look at our 1% lows, we're actually significantly worse off. Our 1% lows on the 319 BIOS are actually 10% uh, faster on my earliest revision of the earliest uh, review of the Asus ROG Ally. So this is a regression here as well. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here. And at the top here, you can see this is 25 watt. This is prior to the 425 BIOS update that happened. So this is the initial review uh, period that I had. So this is the one that we all saw. And then if we take a look at the 319 BIOS, we can see that my initial versus the 319, we do indeed have a slight performance regression for averages, but our one percentile is significantly lower with my initial uh, review being 10% higher. This would mean that the 425 BIOS, like what Dave 2D showed, would be even further ahead. So people would feel a more pronounced performance difference between these two. So this is showing you that this is overall worse than my initial set of benches that we saw. Let's go ahead and move over to Cyberpunk. Likewise, 10 watt for Cyberpunk, we're seeing a significant performance reduction as well, around a 10% performance difference between averages uh, and a 15% performance difference at 1% low at the same 10 watt TDP. So this is, uh, again, confirming the regression that we're seeing. Let's go ahead and move over to 25 watt. And again, even with 25 watt, we see a rather significant performance reduction here on the 319 BIOS. The early initial benches that I had show it being about 18% faster on averages. And on one percentile, again, 18%. Now, the 425 BIOS, which I did not test, I was waiting to retest all my benches once we had latest BIOS and latest drivers, but it looks like uh, I'm just covering this for the regression. So hopefully we can see the culmination of a new BIOS and new drivers, and hopefully I can do a full retest suite, but at least I'm showing you this performance regression right now. And we're going to cap this off with Red Dead Redemption 2. We're going to take a look at the averages. And there really is no difference here on averages. But if we take a look at our 1 percentile lows, we're looking at an 8% uh, performance difference compared to my original set, which was pretty bad uh, comparatively. So we're even worse than my initial set. So uh, I want to make it clear here that the 425, the April 25th BIOS update that happened on the Asus ROG Ally did indeed have a performance improvement. However, uh, we're seeing a big regression here going back to previous to what we were prior. All right. And this test is probably the most significant that we're going to be taking a look at in this particular video. If we take a look at the averages, so this is 25 watt TDP scope for Red Dead Redemption 2. And we're comparing against my original test on the Asus RG Ally. And the 319 BIOS is showing a slight reduction in averages. However, our one percentile is gigantically worse. We're looking at 35% uh, better on my original tests versus the 319 BIOS. Now, I want to make it very, very clear here. I did this test three times, and this is the least worst result that I recorded. The first result that I recorded was a 50% difference, and I was like, there's no way that that's correct. I have to redo this because that just looks off. Uh, the next test that I did was about 35%, uh, it, barely any difference. So these two are pretty much in line, but this is the least worst result that I have, and uh, it's really bad. Uh, so we... So we have to kind of 
think about what's going on here. Basically, if you're on the 317 BIOS, I would say avoid going to 319 at the current moment. Uh, I don't know what's going on right here. I know that we are still waiting for official AMD drivers to come out. June drivers for AMD, uh, AMD Radeon drivers still haven't come out, so we still haven't even seen 23.61 yet. We're still looking at 23.52 drivers that are available, which do not work on the Asus RG Ally. They also don't work on any 7840U device. I also have some weird things going on with other 7840U devices that I'm testing right now. So there's a lot to unpack here, and I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Largely, we can still kind of finagle our way through this by um, controlling clocks ourselves. We're not there yet because that still requires third-party apps, but at a default state, the 319 BIOS has some significant regressions, and I'm not sure why that's the case, but we're still waiting for official drivers to come out. So uh, basically, bottom line is try to avoid going to 319. If you're on 317, stay on 317 for as long as you can. I'll be evaluating this as a time goes on. That's it for this particular video. As always, guys, thank you for your time and thanks for watching.